I wanted to give you a quick update on the situation with my case from Inwin, as well as I did make a decision on the parts that are gonna be going in this build. Let's talk about it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, my case has been returned. Uh, they did provide me with a prepaid label. Now I'm simply waiting for them to inspect the damaged case, supposedly, and then they are going to be hopefully sending out my new case here shortly. So once I get that, then I can actually start this build. I am excited to get going on this. I'm a little frustrated because I've been wanting to start this thing already. And I feel like this is just getting drug along a lot longer than I wanted. However, um, I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't at least giving you some updates as to what's going on. I've had a lot of comments as to, hey, what's going on with this build? When's it gonna get started? Um, how are you coming with it? That kind of stuff. So now, along those lines, I did make a decision on the, the majority of the parts that are gonna be going in it. First and foremost, obviously this is gonna be a 3950X, uh, the Ryzen processor, going on the Aorus X570 Extreme motherboard, which I've brought that up several times, so that's uh, no surprise. Um, this is going to be a workstation build, uh, but I also want it to be kind of cool looking, uh, and I want it to have uh, definitely a distinct, uh, I guess, appearance and feel about it. So along with that, I figured, you know, if I'm gonna be doing workstation work on this, I, I, you know, for editing and whatnot, I would also like to be able to game on it. So along with those pieces, I'm gonna be putting on a, an Asus Strix uh, RTX 2080 Ti, their overclock, uh, I think it's O11G. Um, so that's what's gonna be going in for the, the graphics card. And this whole build is going to be water cooled. First off, this is gonna be a shout out to Matt with Performance PCs, as well as to Optimus, uh, as I'm going to be using a block that was provided to me. Uh, this is uh, gonna be more of a black theme build, if you will, uh, to try to make it really simple and clean. So this block is going to be going on the CPU and I'm super pumped about it. It's supposed to be really high performance. It's got a direct inlet, a direct outlet, so right, and that's reconfigurable depending upon the direction that you wanna have it coming in, like if you want it coming in from the top versus the bottom or so on and so forth. We'll figure out the loop order here once we get building. Uh, the block that's going to be going on the uh, Asus uh, Strix graphics card, the 2080 Ti, is going to be the quantum vector block from uh, EK, and I'll be using a black uh, backplate on that as well to fit in the theme. Fittings I'm gonna be using are these really nice um, alpha cool uh, they're actually meant for the 13 millimeter brass tube that uh, Alpha Cool uses. However, uh, I found that they work really nicely on their 13 millimeter PETG piping for, I mean, they really grip it and they keep those things in place. So that's the uh, the fittings I'm gonna be using for this as well. Some Bits Powers um, uh, angled fittings, the rotary fittings for some spots that I might not, uh, be able to complete a bend quite the way I'd want, but we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, I am also going to be using um, a Seagate Fire Cuda uh, M.2 on this, a two terabyte drive. Um, it's a Gen 4, figured why not at this point, and there was a nice deal for it on, uh, on Amazon that I was able to pick it up for, for actually pretty inexpensive, all things considering. So the radiators that I'm gonna be using are going to be the Corsair XR5 and XR7s. They are the 360 millimeter uh, radiators. I'm using these because they are actually designed in conjunction with hardware labs. Now, the, that's what I wanted to use in the build originally with some hardware labs, but uh, for whatever reason, uh, the Nemesis radiators right now are really hard to find uh, in stock. So at least at a decent price. So I went with these, I'm excited to use them. The fans are gonna be going on. I did have spoken about these previously. It is the Inwin AC120 uh, crown fans. I'm excited about these because of two things. One, they do have high static pressure, so that should be really nice, but, and they are addressable uh, RGB. I do think that, you know, at this point, you know, pretty much every build seems to have some sort of lighting in it. So whether I use multiple colors or, or you know, some sort of a pattern, whatever, or you just go to a white light or shut it off all entirely, that, uh, that stuff gives you the flexibility to do so, tie in themes, so on and so forth. Not only are they high static pressure fans, they can be daisy change. And that's I'm what I'm really excited about because I'm, I'm gonna be able to eliminate a lot of, um, 
I guess, uh, wire management, if you will. I'm, it should provide for a very clean build. And since I'm using an M.2, there's no hard drive babes going in or anything like that. It's just gonna be a very clean, hopefully minimal wired computer. Uh, and this should really make it nice and clean. So those would be the fans I'm gonna be using. The only area I am struggling in on this build is what I'm going to be using for the reservoir. And this decision will be made, I'm sure, as we actually get into the build itself. I'm either gonna be using a standard uh, Singularity Computers uh, Proteum reservoir tubing, uh, or the reservoir itself, as well as their pump um, top kit, or I'm going to be using a dual resonance a reservoir that I was able to pick up uh, again from Matt at Performance PCs on an unbelievable deal. I don't know how this is going to shape up yet with regards to that, but we'll uh, we'll see how that works. And if you've got any comments on that, please let me know. And then for RAM, I did decide to go ahead and go with a set of G, G Skill uh, Trident Z Royal. Uh, uh, it's a nice set of RAM did their silver kit, and it's gonna be a 64 gigabyte kit since this is going to be an editing rig, as well as gaming, maybe streaming, that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be using for the RAM, and I think that should round out the uh, look of the build rather nicely. I am planning on using the, the uh, GPU right now in a vertical mount to kind of fill out the front of the case because I'm only gonna be having one graphics card in here. And I just feel like that will Again, fill out the case very nicely. Uh, for tubing, I am going to be using 13 millimeter uh, Alpha Cool PETG. And I think that uh, I've used it in the past, it bends pretty nicely. And along with their fittings, it should provide a nice uh, snug fit. And as for my power supply, I'm going to be using a Seasonic Titanium 1000 watt power supply. And for cabling, uh, I've got these on the way, I'm going to be using uh, this set of cables from CableMont. I'm going again with a dark theme, if you will, so that you can see the colors I decided to go with. I'm excited to get these in. Uh, they're supposed to be here this next week. Hopefully um, about the same time as the case. And I'm hoping that comes quick. Um, I haven't received any shipping information yet, so we'll see. And this is just meant to be a quick overview of what's going on with that case, which again, this has been kind of a disappointing process with Inwin. I felt like, yes, I know that things are uh, a little slow right now and maybe difficult with the current uh, pandemic that's going on. However, every time I spoke to someone there, I just kind of get pushed off. Um, it's not been the best experience, especially dealing with such an expensive case uh, that was damaged by them. Um, in the end, supposedly they've done the right thing. I, I guess we'll see. I haven't gotten a new case yet, but uh, we'll, we will find out. Anyway, that's where we're at. Also, we are coming up on a um, thousand subscribers, which I know that's a real small channel and that's what I am. I'm not that old of a channel, but I uh, am excited about that. It's a big milestone because that means I can finally monetize the channel. <laughs> I, know, I, I know that really won't mean much, uh, for quite some time, if ever, but still, it's a, an important thing to me. So I am planning a small giveaway. I don't really know what it's going to be yet, but it'll be something decent. I'm not giving away a computer, no, but it will be something nonetheless. And that will be coming up here in the next uh, video or two, and we'll get that announced. Anyway, hopefully you did like today's video. If you did, you know what to do. If you did not, you know what else to do. I hope it's not that. Please hit that subscribe button for me, and we will see you in the next one. Watch me level up, watch me level up